Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Do you remember this song? I do, I think so. Motion City soundtrack. The future freaks me out. So good. They uh, played everything. When We Were Young. And I didn't like strike myself as a big Motion City soundtrack fan. But man, what a great set. Mm-hmm. It was a great job. When We Were Young this was this weekend. Yeah. Gosh. I had such FOMO uh, all day on Saturday. They, I got to say, uh, they did a really good job on their Instagram, on their social. Oh, their social's outstanding. Because it was just every, you know, 10 minutes there was a new band, a new, like, song, a new whatever on there. And I'm like, oh, my God. Gosh, it just looked so fun. Something corporate, though. That is oh. such a core, core, core memory for me. Uh, in my in my best friends, we just listen to that music 24 hours a day. And uh, I was sending it to them, and they're like, oh, my gosh, bring us there. We've never seen them live because they, like, broke up for a little they, bit, right? Yeah, they were, they were not together for a while, and uh, the lead singer, actually, I believe, was fighting uh, leukemia or something yeah, like that for something a while. Crazy. Yeah, something crazy. Right, right, right. But they, did you, you got to see them? Got to see was them. Was it incredible? Outstanding. How many songs would you say? Oh, gosh. I mean, they had about a 30 or, 30 or so minute set. Uh, then there was they deserve new, more. And they they were like right next to each other on the stage. Yes, something corporate on one side. Then right after them was Newfound Glory. And I'm like, oh, this is like this is Insane. perfect. I was so happy. So when we're young, for those of you who don't know, it really encapsul uh, encapsulates an era mm-hmm. of time. Yeah, which is essentially right around the turn of the new millennium. Mm-hmm. The time I was in high school, all the pop punk stuff. Last year was a little more emo. Mm-hmm. This year was definitely a little more pop punk. Mm-hmm. And you had Green Day and you had Blink-182 and you had Newfound Glory and you had Sum 41 and you had Something Corporate and Phoenix TX who haven't been around for a while. Finch, who, yeah. like they broke up for a while. They're back now. It was just outstanding. And whoever is responsible for putting this together totally gets the moment that they're trying to capture because everything about it just screams, you're somewhat a little bit emo just screams, Dad, get out of my room. It's just perfect. Yeah. It really is outstanding. That's awesome. So, um, it, but it really uh, did uh, drive something home for me. I am old. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I am. I'm walking into when we're young. Now, I've been to Warp Tour before. They used to have it in my city. Right there at the horse track, boom. You'd walk mm-hmm. in, there it is. And right in the middle, they would just have the whole thing right there. And uh, now, uh, here I am. And there was a girl, Elder Emo Moms Club, on the back of her oh shirt. I'm like, this woman is an actual mother of probably multiple children. Uh-huh. And she's walking in with me. Uh, B- uh, Blink-182, four gentlemen in front of me, had to be in their mid to late 40s, mm-hmm. all passing a J around. <laughs> So funny. And like, oh boy, the scene has changed, hasn't it? <laughs> Even Motion City Soundtrack, the lead singer of Motion City Soundtrack, I joke not, had a cane on stage. <laughs> and not for funsies, he legit right. just went through physical uh, uh, rehab. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Everyone sprained yeah. knees. I, I will say the, the, <laughs> the singer, the lead singer of Something Corporate, when I saw a really awesome clip of him uh, singing, and I was like, wow. Yeah, he's a little World. older. <laughs> yeah, he's a little older. He still had bleached hair, though. Uh, <laughs> he, ser- he was rocking the bleached hair, for sure. Avril Lavigne showed up as a special uh, during the show, but yeah, the one thing that I just noticed, just looking around, there were some younger people, sure, but mostly sure. it was the elder emos among us. Yeah. Just looking around like, oh boy. <laughs> Ew. So we, awesome. Age has caught up. <laughs> I love it though. I love that. I think it's so cool, uh, especially for, for us. And I'm trying to think of like, for like our parents, my parents' generation, like what would be this for them. Well, I mean, like, you know, when Earth, Wind, and Fire comes to town, you're like, oh, Earth, But I mean, if everybody, like who, like all of the bands, like what type of festival, who would all be there? It was the Time Life Classics collection that you'd buy on TV. I don't know. I don't (laughs) think so. Like my parents were like, uh, are huge Rolling Stones fans, uh, Billy Joel, like that. So, I mean, if how do you put all of them? The problem is, they're still doing stuff. Not only are they still doing stuff, they can sell out the place on their own. Yeah. And Green Day could probably do pretty well with that. And Blink has been doing well. But the rest, like, you know, Newfound Glory played um, a Brooklyn Bowl not too long Mm -hmm. ago. Great show. But, you know, they I don't know if they could play a larger venue. Yeah. Um, You know, Motion City Soundtrack, same thing. You might, you know, hey, $20 to go see their show in in maybe Fremont uh, Country Club. But, like, this is like, you know, all of them at once, yeah. which is great. So it's like you're so, you saved yourself a ton of time. There, the other thing that's cool about the, the way they do it is because there's stage next to stage. There is no downtime. There are four stages total. 
And like I had it all planned out, kind of like I would walk into Disneyland. I'm yeah. like, all right, I need, I know, I didn't know I need to hit this, this, and this. Then I'm gonna walk over there. I'm gonna see that. Then I'm gonna walk back over to here. Maybe I'll get some food in between here. Pee break here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe car nap here because, <laughs> yeah. eh, you know, offspring, the offspring. Oof. Man, <laughs> they were bad. They weren't great. They were they were they weren't terrible. But like it was just a little corny. <laughs> oh like, really? All like all a little uh, the, the games that they play with the audience. Like oh wait, I think the left side could be a little louder. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh jeez, come on, <laughs> what are we doing? But um yeah, honestly, like I'm shocked they didn't have like metamucil shots or something. It's just was a little different. Yeah, uh, you know, and and it's the one thing I remember when I've uh, when we started the show. You said you still feel young, and I still think I am young. Like mentally, I'm still 15, mm-hmm. but uh, physically, I am not. And I'm starting to re- I'm starting to realize it, and that stinks. Mm-hmm. But over the past year, I've witnessed you now starting to realize. You look around, you're like, oh no. <laughs> I mean, I still fi- I I still don't think that I'm old for sure. Um, it's crazy. Like Jaden drove me to the grocery store yesterday. I was like, what wow. is going on? This is so insane. Yeah, because he's older. Uh, then but, you went into the grocery still, store at inflation. Yeah. I, yeah, seriously. That's actually actually true. <laughs> like $50, all I got is a case of water. Um, but yeah, I, I just like seeing the the um, uh, something corporate lead singer and I'm like, oh gosh, he's got a lot of wrinkles. So do I. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I still feel at, like I still am not like to the spot where I'm like, oh, I'm old. I feel older. I feel I'm, I'm still not there yet. Woke up in a car. Mm-hmm. Punk rock princess, or I want to save you. I want to save you. I want to save you. Done. Something corporate. Frankly, a band that should have been played on the radio more For during sure. this time. Outstanding. Yeah. A little taste of when we're young. 1027 yeah. VGS. Leaving Through the Window is the name of that album. Such a great. I can see the album cover right now. What, in what, what's, in, what's in the cover? Uh, a girl in a dress. There's like a, a window. Um, with like curtains and stuff and she's going in or out of it and it's like is it in the woods or something <laughs> is it well done yeah. it's wow. very well done I mean, it really is actually creepy <laughs> <laughs> like legit I don't know how you did that I that was no unbelievable I, like I'm not kidding when I tell you I listened to the, these albums for years Oh, yeah. I mean, like legit. Yeah, she's climbing down a wall. There's here. climbing down a wall. It kind of looks like a little bit of a jungle there. There's the dress. <laughs> little flirtatious. Is she looking up for her parents? Don't I don't know. know. Who's to say? We don't know. <laughs> so funny. 